In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can adjust your foundation chain without frogging your first row. Um, I saw this uh, tutorial, this little trick some time ago. Sorry, but I don't know exactly where. Maybe on a Facebook group or something. And I found it very, very useful, especially if you work... Uh, um, on a diagram and you find out at the end of the row one that you need extra stitches on your foundation chain or your chain is uh, too long so this trick will help you to fix that without uh, frogging your first row and then um, uh, adjust your foundation chain um, I find it very difficult to count the stitches on a foundation chain if, um, if you are chaining a lot of stitches is more difficult so it's more easier for me to count the numbers of stitches after the first row and this trick helped me to adjust uh, the length of the foundation chain of my work so it doesn't matter in what what stitch you work I will just make here some double crochet all over the row here I have made some double crochet here and I have two extra stitches and let's say that these two extra stitches are uh, uh, extra so I don't need them for my uh, for my item so as I said usually you have to frog your first row and then adjust your uh, your length of the foundation chain but here is how you can do it so untied the slip knot pull the end of the yarn and then frog the extra stitches then pull the yarn and tight and here we are with a perfect work with no extra stitches and now let's say that uh, after the first row we figure out that we need extra stitches so I insert the hook into the slip knot and with the end of the yarn the end from the beginning of uh, chaining start and chain the extra stitches that you need and pull the yarn and tie it so here you have the extra stitches that you need to continue your work and to have the uh, exact exactly desired length that you need so this trick uh, is useful either, even if you are uh, a new crocheter or if you are an older one, more experienced. I think that sometimes in our crochet we will need this. So this is why I wanted to have it here on my, uh, on my blog along with the other tips and tricks for crochet so i hope you're enjoying this tutorial and you will find it useful and see you next time